Those of us who are sensitive to electromagnetic energy will feel its power, for good and for bad. Unfortunately, the bad outweighs the good. Living close to electromagnetic energies have a negative effect on health. Electromagnetic energy consists of wave frequencies that react when they come into contact with matter. An example would be radio waves. These waves can be man-made or natural. The natural kind coming from cosmic bodies such as stars and planets and the man-made kind coming from radios, televisions and cell phones. Another example is microwaves. They're stronger than radio waves. For people that have metal plates and parts inserted into them, which includes pacemakers, it's advised not to stand in front of your microwave while watching your meal heating. Other types of electromagnetic waves include infrared, light rays, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays, which are capable of destroying living cells. All electromagnetic waves form part of the electromagnetic spectrum. I have heard people say, well, you should live in a cave then. Well, they're not wrong. Caves can be quite beautiful and fascinating. I slept many years ago in a cave and I still remember the deep sleep I had and how I got up feeling so fresh the next day. Our ancestors lived in caves and many ancient civilizations around the world also lived in them. I have lived in a house with stone walls where modern communication signals don't penetrate easily. In fact, in some areas, you literally have to climb halfway up a tree to get a phone signal. I used to find it very frustrating. Now, when I think of it, it was blissful and I got a good night's sleep every night. We can't all live in caves. Some people want things right now. It has to be faster, higher, stronger in today's world. Not to be confused with the Olympic motto, Citius Altius Fortius. We can't continue to keep living at a faster and faster pace, as we'll make ourselves sick. Imagine having an electromagnetic signal glued to your head all day with electromagnetic waves pumping into your face and head. You'll start to feel unwell, have headaches, feel detached, not be able to sleep and your mental health will suffer. Oh, I think it's called a cell phone or mobile phone. A great invention for staying connected with people not physically close to you, for sending quick messages and talking. We already have that. Why do we need it faster? We already have what we need. We don't need a magnetic wave glued to our heads to talk and text to people in the same room with us or sitting next to us. That's an addiction and we'll come to those in another video. Why can't we just be grateful for what we have? If anything, we should be slowing down and taking things at a slower pace. Life is meant to be enjoyed and savoured, not rushed through to get it over with. We're ruining the beauty of the countryside with these iron pulsating monsters. They not only affect us as human beings, but they also affect the wildlife. Animals have greater senses than us and can feel things more deeply as they're naturally more in tune with the balance of Mother Earth. They become disorientated with man-made signals. They're not in tune with nature. We've seen the evidence of this with birds flying into wind turbines and entire pods of whales becoming beached. So what's the answer? Perhaps if we come together and work together to find a better solution that will suit everyone, humans and wildlife. I mean, everyone unite from big tech companies, global companies, billionaires, millionaires, governments, businesses and individuals. If we all cooperate, then we can find an answer and a solution. This is not the end of the world. It's just the beginning. <laughs>